Hello, and welcome to Smash or Pass Holiday Decor Edition. This is the inaugural episode of Smash or Pass. If you're not familiar, Smash or Pass is a game most frequently played by me and my friend Ashley, where we sit on my front stoop, and with every single person that walks by, you are required to say whether you would smash or pass. And by smash, I mean kiss. On the lips! So I thought this would be a fun thing to do, and then that's why we're doing it. I posted a questions story box, what do you call them, on Instagram asking for holiday decor and holiday traditions that you want a yay or nay on. Can send pics, you can reply pictures to these things right now. And I'm gonna say right off the bat, most of you guys did not understand the question. I got a lot of just people sending me the word yay or the word nay, or yes, or oh yes. I think this one's on you. I think I was pretty clear. Immediately you're fired. Okay, failed the test already. But for the people who actually answer the question, <laughs> I'm gonna use your prompts. We're gonna be discussing some of the holiday home decor trends, choices, and just my big fat opinion on them. It's not the law. I'm not right or wrong. I'm just the one with a camera. This, this is all, it's all so personal. Honestly, holiday decor is also personal and steeped in like family history and sentimentality. So it's rotten of me to say anything about any of it, but you don't have to watch the video. Get out of here. I'm just having a fun time. I asked for a holiday in general. I think I pretty much only got Christmas stuff. So be it. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, starting off with a confusing one, a couple people sent me this upside down Christmas tree thing. I've never, I haven't heard of this. Is this a trend currently? Immediate pass, immediate pass. Everyone's trying to be a little too interesting. You know what? Obviously this is stupid. Obviously the people doing this know it's stupid too, and they just haven't developed enough of a personality for themselves to feel comfortable just doing something classic. Listen, Christmas, in my opinion, my very loud opinion, Christmas is about tradition and history and actually things I, which I really don't respect either of those as general concepts. All right, I'm already on a tangent. Tradition is just an excuse to never innovate in a way, but um, around the holidays, I like it. <laughs> this is dumb as hell. This is very dumb. What's the point? What's the idea? First of all, if you're gonna do the tree upside down, there should be a stump. Total, total pass, hate it detest. Just, you know, get a hobby. Work on your personality. I hate that. Oranges in Christmas trees. In the Christmas tree? I've heard of oranges in the Christmas stocking. My mom's obsessed with doing that because she says, that's what, and we always got an orange in our stocking growing up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Always trying to tell us how special that was, that they would get an orange from Florida because they didn't used to import fruit back then, so it's a big deal. We get it, mom, you're from the past. I, she's always putting oranges in our stockings. On the tree? Can the limb even hold an orange? How are you attaching them? Like in a net? That's gotta be a weepy tree, right? Pass. Advent calendars, smash. Advent calendars are basically just one big Christmas strip tees. It, it builds the hype, they're delicious. Uh, we did them as a kid, loved them, very simple advent calendars. We're talking about Christmas here. The best part of Christmas is all the days before Christmas, right? It's the build up. So I like advent calendars for that. It, it builds the anticipation. I feel like, I feel like I often feel like a little depressed on Christmas itself. It's like, oh, it's over now. I just have to go back to living my life. So yeah, build it up, do the hype, love it. And chocolate for breakfast, it's every parent's dream. Someone sent me just a photo of huggable reindeer dolls. Yeah, so this is something that like shan't be buying it myself, won't be in my home. But if this was out at my grandma's home, I'd be like, hell yeah, grandma's freaking smash. I think it really depends on the context. Like certain people can pull off certain things. These huggable reindeer dolls, why is that so perverted? Ugh. It's, I think it's like their noses are too long. Kind of fucked up. Blah. Personal pass, generous smash. I, I offer it generously to the others to smash. Really, it's a pass. Elf on the shelf. A lot of people said elf on the shelf. So I don't have super strong feelings. I did not grow up with this tradition. I feel like it's something, I know it's been around for like decades, but I feel like it's gotten way more traction recently, right? I feel like it's more of a thing now. I mean, I, I find the elf a little bit creepy. I've definitely seen parents do it in a really fun way where 
you know, it's like the elf is like toilet papering their kids' bedrooms overnight. Like that sounds like fun. It's like, I guess it's like a fun way to like lightly bully your kids. That does, that is holiday to me. But I've also heard parents complain that it's like a lot of work to keep moving the elf, which is hilarious and like an unnecessary thing to put on yourselves. Holidays are already weird. Like, so don't make it more work on yourselves. I will say a designer friend, a lovely woman who I worked for for a short time, Emily May. She's really into Elf on the Shelf and she does it in a really cute way and she actually started it's like a mini Elf home package where it like, she, you can buy them from her. I think it's called like Mary Elf House and it's got like a little door and a whole little vignette and like little accessories and stuff. I don't know, it actually seems really cute. If it's like really a little decor thing that you put, you know, somewhere on your counter or against a wall, almost like a little mouse hole, a little home for the elves to go into. And there's different decorations and you can change it up and show little signs of life from the elves coming through. That I like, that I think is very fun and cute and tasteful. Just don't make elf on the shelf too much work. I think the idea is that the elf is spying on the kids and like tattling on them. I don't like that. From someone who grew up very Catholic, I don't need the guilt stuff. So leave that out of it. But if it's just a mischievous elf, smash, I mean, a reluctant smash. My opinion on home goods and places like that, and maybe, do you ever go? And maybe I do, I do ever go, yeah, I do. If it's you're asking specifically for Christmas decor, yeah, I'm not opposed. I think you need to limit it though. If you get all your Christmas decor from home goods, it's gonna look like your home is home goods selling Christmas decor, like you can tell. I would limit it to a few pieces. What I think, my personal opinion, what's great about any holiday decor is like history, family tradition, that kind of stuff. And the thing that's really comforting, so home goods, if you get too much home goods, it can feel like kind of kitschy and plasticky and like you bought it this year which I think is fine for some pieces, but it just, I don't know, as long as you can mix it in with more pieces that like have history and meaning and are personal to you. It's like decorating for the Instagram post versus decorating like for your experience in the space. I think it's just more fun to throw in weird pieces from your family or history or stuff that's been passed down or whatever. Even if it's not always the perfect color scheme, like that's what feels like a Christmas hug to me. So I would just limit the home good stuff, but I'm not opposed. Smash. A tree in more than one room. Yeah, God. Stop bragging that you have multiple rooms, huh? I'm not opposed. If I'm not opposed, I guess it's a smash. Greedy. I think it's a nice thing to do for kids. Put a, like a mini tree in the kid's room and then they can decorate that one. It's fun for the kids. I guess reluctant smash. Yeah, unenthusiastic smash. Uh, okay, yeah, I want more Chris, sending out, sending out Christmas cards, summarizing the family's year. This is so funny. My, I will say my family was a big, a big offender with this one. My mom always sent out like a really long Christmas card and we're better about it now. We don't do that so much. We, I feel like my family always sent like a really stiff, like traditional Christmas card and a long letter and it was kind of humiliating. I feel like my mom, I've gotten my mom on board with just sending out more like silly mayhem recently. I'm gonna show. Yeah, okay, so pass. Sending out Christmas cards somewhere in the family's year. Just, it's just a brag list. No one's ever like, and this year my husband had an affair and I'm barely speaking to my daughter. That almost never goes in the card. It is so funny, the brag. I'm gonna say they're a smash because I love reading them. I don't want to send it out, but yes, I want to receive them because sitting around with my siblings and reading out other people's family Christmas letters is a uh, is like that's this that is the mean spirited holiday that I want. That's a smash to me. Themed pillows, yeah, that's a pass. That's so funny. It's just like a lot of effort. Again, I feel like that's something that I would accept at my grandma's house. I'd be like, oh, grandma, you don't have a job. Yeah, you're switching out your pillows. I feel like there are certain items, like one Christmas pillow that like we've had since since you were a baby and oh, isn't it sweet and whatever. Like, yeah, that's nice. But if it's just like a pill, an embroidered pillow that says like, let it snow, pass, pass. <laughs> Something about me personally, if I can share, is that I love money. And one of my favorite things about money is having it. I love to have it and to, and for it to be mine. 
Anyway, today's video is sponsored by Upside, which I've talked about Upside before on the channel. Upside is a cashback app. I give you cash back on groceries, dining, gas. I use it the most on gas personally. Whenever I need to go fill up the tank, I just get on the app. I look for gas options via Upside, drive there, get my gas, take the money and run. It's pretty great. It's got a 4.8 star rating on the app store. People like it, I like it, there, no complaints. You just show up, you claim the offer for whatever you're buying at the place, like I'm getting gas. You check in at the business, you pay as usual, you finish your business, and then you get paid from upside. You can cash out to get a gift card from Amazon, you can go to PayPal, you can do cold hard cash into your bank account, which is what I like. I definitely recommend checking it out. It's just very easy to use. It fits in with the habits I already have. I'm gonna buy gas, I'm gonna get groceries. To get started, all you do is download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play. Use my promo code, Caroline, to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's it, pretty simple. And thanks to Upside for sponsoring this YouTube channel today. I appreciate it. Okay, back to, back to whatever we're doing. Gingerbread houses. That's a tough one. This is this is the trick about gingerbread houses is like, okay, first of all, they don't taste good. Gingerbread does not taste good. Even if you make, you know, gingerbread cookie dough is different from like gingerbread house. Neither of them taste good. Don't tell me that they do. You're a liar. They look terrible. It's just drippy and droopy and falling apart and not very color coordinated, I would say. I mean, it's a nice activity to do together, but at the end of it, everyone, you know, quits halfway through. Pass. Fight me, come at me for this. The little light up village collections. I like these, I do. Which also I, I think maybe they're a traditional German thing. I'm sure they exist in a lot of cultures, but my family does have a ton of these and they're very cute. We have like little porcelain ones. They're like little pieces of art. Cause we lived in Germany for a long time. My family's German heritage. Yeah, so I actually do think they're very sweet. My mom hides them up kind of like in a bunch, a whole wall of bookshelves. So they're kind of nestled among the books. It's like a book house village. There's some that look cheaper and plasticier and you lose a little bit of something then. I think my favorite way to do them is to just have it nestled into other stuff. So it's kind of like a village nestled into the hills as opposed to just like, here's a platter with some houses that I bought. Yeah, I say smash. When you guys sent me a picture, this is not really what I asked for, but I will answer the question, <laughs> of your mantle with a bunch of like little little Christmas village houses, how to improve Xmas village while keeping it classy. Help, girl, super cute. I think you just need, you need to do some layering. It's just very one dimensional. You just like need stuff behind stuff is what I would say. And you need to add some height. It's all one height. Add some greenery or plants or whatever, or like something that varies the height up. And if there is space to layer, it's not a super deep mantle. Or a little like Christmas frame or decoration or something, just like get some height and let's get some greenery going on. That's my answer. A lot of people said tinsel. Honestly, I don't, I don't give tinsel that much thought. If you're asking me, do I personally use tinsel? It's a pass, but I don't know that I'm opposed. Hold on, let me see. I mean, it's all, let's, what's going on with tinsel right now? Tinsel, Christmas tree. Oh. oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say pass now that I'm looking at this. No, it just kind of looks like it's melting. It looks like the tree is like screaming to me. It's a pass for me. If you do it, fine. It just looks kind of busy and messy. Pass. When it comes to Christmas trees, are your colorful lights or white lights kind of gal? Okay, got a lot of questions about trees real and fake and lights. I will respond to both in turn. Personally, I would prefer a, cla a real tree with white lights. It's usually what I do, but I really appreciate alternatives. I, just the smell of a real tree is so, you know, it becomes a whole sensory experience. It's a pain in the ass to clean up all the time, um, slash go out and fetch and whatever but I do enjoy it. However, I had a gold fake Christmas tree. My ex and I would have one. I think he was like allergic to trees or something. I don't know. And I was surprised by how much I liked it because the gold fake tree, it kind of glowed. It had an extra glow to it. It was nice. I didn't hate it. I love the giant retro colored bulbs, especially like a public tree in a park. 
somewhere. I want to see the big, chunky colored bulbs on it. And then in my own home, I like to do small white lights just because that's what we had growing up. But not opposed. Someone sent a pink, pink and white Christmas tree. Decline. That's a pass. I'll tell you, that's a pass. Who is doing that? That just feels like Dr. Seuss to me. I love tacky Christmas decorations. Give me 80s Griswold vibes. Pass. No, smash. I mean, smash. I smash. Yeah, personally, I don't do it, but I do appreciate. Do it. I, I do. Well, tacky. I like 80s Christmas. I don't know about tacky. I think there's a fun way to do retro Christmas. Classy retro. Okay, maybe not, maybe not tacky, but I appreciate just doing your own thing. I like that. Smash on the attitude, pass on the execution. Ugly child made ornaments, smash all day because they're hilarious to look at. It's such like a fun, trip down memory lane, like look at what an idiot you were. You thought this was good and we also thought it was cute. And now we have it 25 years later. Hideous, but they're so sweet. Yeah, I'm smashing, yeah. No color Christmas decor. Yeah, I agree, that's a pass for me. Just falls flat, just a continuation of my feeling about design in general. Just feels like kind of boring. I guess everything matches, but doesn't feel very fun. And I feel like you can do different variations on the color that still feel very classic if you don't want it to feel tacky or whatever. Like a certain shade of green, like an evergreen, or like a fur. I don't, I don't know what the shades are called. I'll put some, I'll put some greens here I like that aren't super neon, grinchy, bright, whatever. Um, and you can do some deeper reds. I think I, I like doing like the deeper versions of each of those colors. Yeah, fake spray snow on windows. It's a pass for me. You know, do it if you want. I, I oh, that, which the do it if you want is the uh, is the subtext of everything in this video. Do it if you want. I feel like it looks tacky. If there's actually snow outside, then it's like, well, why do we have fake snow here? And if there's no snow outside, then it just feels like, why is there snow here? I don't know. Not a fan. I'll I'll pass it. Yeah. Bake something again. I feel like you didn't understand the question. Also confused by the emojis added with bake something. A curious, curious face and a embarrassed face. So confused. Will I bake something? Yeah, sure I will. I'll smash that. But pass to your interpretation of the question. Bowls filled with colored bulbs, pass all day. I'm just gonna break them. You should put them out if you want. You're gonna have to clean it up if you invite me over. Oh, the light display. Yeah, this is not the worst one I've seen. Usually I feel like they're just dots. They're just like laser dots, green and red or something, hard pass. It just looks like someone's playing with a laser gun. It's a dad thing. It doesn't look good, dad. Sad life stuff going on and don't feel like doing the holidays. Any experience and insight with this? Totally, yeah. The holidays are mostly about being depressed and noticing how alone you are. I, I don't even like crave having a boyfriend or a partner right now until just the other day, I just had a moment where I was like, dang, I was online shopping. I was trying to buy some new underwear and I went onto American Eagle's website. They always have good deals. And all of their underwear they were displaying in like red was the default color, maybe for the holidays. I don't know. And it was just all this red underwear. And for some reason, looking at a bunch of red underwear, I was like, dang, I wish I had someone to wear red underwear for. <laughs> And it was just this moment where it just like totally, I don't know, captured this weird romanticized part of the holidays. I like being with someone and I don't know. It was not even realistic. It's just like a, a romantic version of what the holidays are supposed to be. But like hardly ever are. I don't know, it was a funny moment. I literally love being single. And then until I saw this uh, this red underwear, it like really hit me in the chest. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> I got over it, I'm fine. But yeah, there's lots of reasons to be depressed and sad. I think it's a really, it's, it's you know, the holidays emphasize family and being with people so much. So if you're feeling any kind of loneliness, it's really hard. We've all been there. Everyone's been there. If you're feeling really isolated and sad. It, it hurts more the holidays because the holidays is just one big party. It's like um, a several weeks long party that you don't get to opt in or out of. It feels like it's just everywhere. So it feels terrible. It's like a party you don't wanna be at and it lasts for weeks. So I think just recognizing that like, A, the circumstances make it 
make it just makes everything feel worse if you're already feeling worse b lots of people also feel that way i think i've had a fun time going out to finding the one or two restaurants or bars that are open around the holidays and having you know kind of commiserating it can be a fun experience to be there because the other people who are there are also feeling the same as you and it can be a sweet little bonding experience maybe it's not the ideal Christmas, holiday, whatever that you would like, but it can be a nice second choice, but you're not alone and things will change. And January is also pretty depressing, so I'd skip out on that one as well. But later on, things get better. Matching Christmas jumpers or PJs, smash. Paige, let's insert a photo right here. I will send it to you <laughs> of my family. Christmas, Christmas pyramid, what is that? Put it in a Pinterest, Christmas pyramid. What? Oh, the spinny guys. Oh yeah, smash, smash all day. We have a bunch of those. I think, I feel like that's like a German thing also, maybe. What stings about these is like the physics of it are never cooperating, right? The way these work is that the heat from the candles is supposed to, is it the heat or the smoke or something spins the whole device? It's almost never working. So you put it out at dinner and you spend half the dinner trying to fix the candles, whatever. I do think they're cute though, smash. Don't do the upside down Christmas tree. Who do you think you are is my question. Listen, if you're if you're going through some kind of crisis, just you know, seek professional help. You don't have to buy this tree. I hate it. That's the hardest pass of the video. Okay, that's all. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, wait. No, not goodbye. I think I'm gonna make the Smasher Pass a series, so give me other genres, other topics that you wanna hear some Smasher Passes on. And also do some like question boxes on Instagram. So you can follow me on Instagram if you want to submit. Thanks. Let's do better. Let's do better next time with the questions. Okay? Read the question carefully. Read the whole question. Oh my god. Oh my god. My goodness. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye.